So the first thing I would like to talk about is the specs of my computer. As you can see I have this Core i7-10750H. As you can see the CPU was released back in 2020 as almost 4 years. Yeah, it has all of these specs as you can see a very good frequency. Uh, this is my uh, GPU instead, uh, RTX 3060 laptop GPU. It has uh, 6 gigs of video memory which is not a lot but it's still very decent to play all of the games in high medium graphics. It was released back in 2021 as you can see so this laptop is a little bit old almost 4 or 5 years but it's still a very good decent laptop for nowadays. I uh, have 8 GB of RAM left. Uh, actually 9 I have uh, normally but the way I'm, I'm doing stuff so 8. I have a Windows 11 en Enterprise and with the latest build and all of the Windows updates done so yeah, I am fully updated. As Linux I am using Ubuntu 24.10 fully updated too. Uh, it's the same <laughs> computer of course. Uh, as you can see I have definitely much more RAM free compared to Windows as you can see it's using 3GB but it's definitely much more better than compared to Windows. And normally Ubuntu alone itself uh, fresh installed use practically like 2 gigabytes or 1.5 gigabytes of RAM so it's definitely a big a much bigger upgrade compared to Windows that uses 6 instead. As the first game I would like to show you is Jailbreak. Make sure to leave a like to this video, subscribe to my channel, activate the little beautiful bell and make sure also to leave a beautiful comment for some more support. And now let's continue. As you can see I did max set the graphics, so everything is set to max, uh, of course the Roblox settings are set to max and of course the game settings, their own personal custom settings they have right here as you can see, everything is set to max. Anyways let's play as a criminal and let's escape from the prison right now. So let's escape from the sewer and I see a pretty good amount of FPS boost in Linux which is pretty incredible as you can see the CPU missing uh, the small number that you see under the CPU uh, is quite more bigger in Windows than in uh, Linux. Of course going through the sewer I notice also that it kind of depends from the area it's not always the same as you can see of course. Uh, it's okay, let's say on Windows, but on Linux I see there is a bit more of a PS. Uh, sometimes they are equal, but they most of the times so Linux gets it a little bit better. As you can see, 144 and most stuck. And uh, Windows can 120, 130 FPS. Anyways, I did escape from the sewer. Now let's spawn my beautiful Lamborghini Aventador. Let's get some beautiful weapons and as let's get a beautiful customization for this beautiful Lamborghini Aventador, of course. So from the Linux side, I did already get my weapons. Now let's go into the garage. Let's get the good stuff, the real good stuff for the Lamborghini. Yeah, that's. I really like this texture, it's a bit crazy, but I know it's... Um, at least the performance of the car are now much way better. And from the Linux side is now... Uh, from the Windows side is now too. Um, yeah, it's running quite much way better on Linux, like by a bit. By 10-20% more than compared to Windows. Anyways, I'm uh, going now to grab the helicopter and check how the game will perform with the helicopter. I mean, uh, by going around the city. Now, on the Linux side, as you can see, I'm still getting a very quite good amount of FPS. Always at 80, 90, 100. Yeah. While on Windows, is a bit less for unknown reasons. But yeah, as you can see, Linux definitely has that 10%, 20% more of performance. So, um, on the Linux side, I did got inside this uh, laboratory, I believe, something like this, to steal the uranium. Uh, unfortunately, the same, not was on Windows, so I had to actually do another robbery in Windows. So, let me fix that pretty quickly. So, I finally inside the Windows uh, side, decided to enter inside this beautiful mansion. While inside Linux, I decided to actually rob the 
museum. Unfortunately, after after that, after short, shortly after, I did go to arrest the, the museum and unfortunately he died in the mansion. Unfortunately, in the boat, he died and loosed and anyways was pretty tired actually to playing Jailbreak, so I decided to switch to the next game. The next game is Realistic Car Driving. So yeah, we are. I did forget to show you the settings of the graphics, but we did uh, as always set them on max. So anyways, let's spawn this beautiful Aston Martin and let's get a tour inside this beautiful little city. So you can see already on Linux and Windows there is a pretty a little bit big difference. You can see Linux is always on those 60 70 FPS while Windows on those 14 50 FPS which is a trust me a bit game changer. Um yeah city looks actually very nice, I like it. Uh yeah. Linux is actually looks even better, looks like the graphics maybe because it's nice, but anyways, you can see everything runs definitely a bit more smoother than Windows by a little bit by 10-20% as always. Anyways, now let's get inside the highway and I want to see how many yes we get going through the highway. Yeah, in the initial area, in the initial curve, as you can see, I'm getting a uh, a bit big slowdown in Windows under even, under even 30 FPS I see. How I don't Linux is actually always very very good. 60, even 100 FPS I did seen before. 90 looks like I see 100. While on Windows and Spartans we are on about 40 FPS. Maybe because the server is very big, a lot of players there is maybe on inside the Windows side and maybe it's night and maybe it's harder to calculate but the way on linux is simply very smooth and this looks like a very hard part is about 40 50 60 fps yeah it's kind of a bit more better on linux than windows yeah yeah on windows is actually very bad is under 30 fps sometimes yeah maybe because it's simply dark and maybe there's the stuff smooth is better i cannot say even better uh, let's get through this uh, very big large curve right here we almost done the whole uh, highway this Aston Martin looks really really nice as on Linux with like the reflections um, yeah, it looks very uh, nice especially when it's very fluid and not laggy like on Windows yeah we are now on 50, 40 fps 50 looks like on Windows yeah it's pretty bad on Windows yeah while on Linux literally fantastically smooth cannot explain the satisfaction let's make this last curve right here and let's get inside the city as you can see we get a little bit slow down on linux but on windows yeah it was pretty bad at under 30 fps i seen and this was pretty much it for <laughs> this beautiful little game so the next game is Bloxburg. One thing I did notice when I did enter, I did notice of course a big lag because of the loading of the map. By the way, I did see the, the Linux did load the game a much we a bit faster. Also this is the houses you can see. Uh, it looks like the FPS are yeah there is still a little bit yeah the difference is a bit big in, as you can see in terms of FPS. In Celino, in the, inside the Linux, I am always getting those 90, 80, 100 FPS. While on Windows, to 70, 80, 90 FPS, and um, yeah, it's kind of a very good uh, experience. Anyways, I was thinking to go inside the city and check out the city hall. There will perform. And by going inside the city, I did notice a bit of lag both the systems, Windows and Linux. Anyways, I did decide uh, to choose uh, to go inside the cinema to check out the performance, of course. 
I side Windows you get a uh, very solid amount of FPS, 50 to 60 or 80, I don't see really well. Um, yeah, quite good amount on FPS. <clears throat> on Linux 2, something was a bit weird. I was getting like from 60 to 70, and then to 100. It was playing very a lot with the FPS inside Linux. Looks like a bit the same, yeah, for Windows looks like too. I get 100 FPS, 50s, yeah, 50, 68, and something like this. It's not really good for Windows neither. I really don't know what to say. And Linux, it's a little bit much more better, and that's pretty much it. I don't know what to say. Yeah, definitely. And then I decided to get back into the city, into this other part, and there was an enormous difference in FPS from like, what, 130 FPS in Linux and like 80 or 70 in Windows, which is an enormous difference. You can see we know Linux is really beating up Windows really badly here. Anyways, then I decided to go inside this uh, ice skating rink uh, with this beautiful model of a castle. I, I really like this very colorful place, actually. I really enjoy it. It looks really nice besides the low uh, texture quality. By the way, you know, that's how it is. Um, anyways, this place was really beautiful. As you can see, the difference is quite noticeable still. Uh, Linux is still beating up really badly Windows 11 and uh, yeah 50 60 FPS Windows is trying yeah it's a very bad experience anyways then I decided inside the Linux side I'll get back to the home and fix myself as you can see I was really tired and all of that um yeah this was actually a very weird zone and by the way Linux is overkilling in Blasburg by the way, I think this is a little bit too much. Anyways, you've seen everything in Bloxburg that you have to see. I think it's time to pass to some very beautiful PvP games. And of course, the next game is Arsenal. The maps aren't the same, unfortunately, and of course they aren't. By the way, as you can see on the Linux side, I am always getting much more FPS compared to Windows. And by the way, the Linux map I am playing currently is like looks like some Chinese or Japanese map. It's definitely much more complex compared to the Windows one. The Windows one is like some real big, simple uh, 3D models, assault style. Uh, they are, yeah, so all the models, they are very simple to work with. While the Windows, while the Linux one is definitely much more harder to render and work with. So I decided to do another match to check if changing the maps going to change the situation. And looks like, no, it's even worse for Windows 11 now. As you can see, it's always in 40, 50, 60 FPS, it barely can get on 60 FPS. The CPU missing inside Windows is very high, always the double of Linux. And it's very laggy, like not laggy, but like low FPS. I don't know why it's so CPU intensive. But on Linux, it's always on those 6, 7, 8, 10 missing of CPU is always on those 80, 90, 100 FPS. That is always very good with Linux. I don't know what to say. It's, Windows simply sucks, and that's pretty much it. And as the last game, I want to show you Blade Ball. So I'm already in a match in both the sides, as you can see. Uh, I don't know what to say. It looks like almost 50-50 right now for Windows and Linux. Look really similar. But the way I don't know, Windows looks like it's always struggle a bit more than Linux. Spoo missing, it looks like um, almost yes, the same, it looks like. Yeah, they are like almost 50-50, I believe, this time. Blade Ball is actually a much more simple game for Windows. For Linux looks like a kind of as size well Windows, by the way, it's a bit different. I don't know, they looks like working almost the same. The Windows is always it struggles a bit a lot. Anyways, I think it's now better to pass to the next match.
So these are again the two new maps, as you can see, everything looks like as always the same. Windows always gets a bit lower of PS, while on Linux this time looks like it's even much better. Always stuck almost at 144 FPS, and Windows struggles at was 100 FPS, but it's still very playable for Windows like a lot. But Linux as always is beating up Windows really badly, and that's pretty much it. And inside the Linux side I did for the first time in my life actually win in this game. It is literally the first time in my life I did win as you can see. After a few strikes I did win and I really don't know what to say anymore. Uh, Windows is always a bit bad, a bit the same sometimes, kinda depends. Like Windows is not bad but Linux is a bit lighter and it's a bit better for all of the computers in the world. Uh, Windows is definitely a bit more heavier as you can see and I get always a little bit less FPS or even the double the less of FPS compared to Linux. And and it's pretty much it. And the winner is... Linux! Of course it's Linux! Because it's much lighter, it's simply faster and it's much more compatible with other computers in the world. Just simply better than Windows and that's pretty much it. So for example, if you have like some office computer with Intel or AMD CPU and it has like 8 gigabytes of RAM and the Windows uses it, a lot of it, and you simply plug a lot in Windows because you don't have a lot of memory and your CPU is not too much good and Windows puts too much pressure, well simply switch to Linux. Don't worry, I have a tutorial on YouTube how to do it and I also have a tutorial on YouTube how to install the Roblox on Linux, so if you ever wish like to try Linux, don't worry, I have everything ready for you. For one last time, leave me a beautiful like, subscribe to my channel, activate the little beautiful bell and make sure to leave me a beautiful comment for some moral support. Anyways, I thank you a lot for watching this video completely, I wish you a really good day, at this point a really good year, and I thank you once again, by the way, I think it's time to say goodbye, so, goodbye!